Hey everybody, David Guerra here. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. This is the Leadership Minute, Leadership Minute number 23. Leadership Principle, employ your unit in accordance with its capabilities. Now, what does this mean? Well, what it means is basically you're not going to send your engineering department to go do emergency bookkeeping. It, it doesn't work that way. They're not trained to be bookkeepers. By the same token, you're not going to send your accounting department, the entire accounts payable, accounts receivable department, down to the warehouse to conduct inventory. You could, but you've got warehouse staff that will do that for you. It's the same way the United States Army does not send a battalion of cooks and administrative personnel to go take a city block. No, they send infantry. They send infantry and supported by tanks, armor units. So you see where I'm going here? They send what's appropriate to do the job that's appropriate. Now, to feed all those all those infantrymen and all those tankers, well, yeah, then of course, yeah, they're going to have to send down some cooks and uh, administrative paperwork is going to have to be done. And so again, those people are employed when they're absolutely positively necessary. So by the same token, your employees, you should be taking care of them, ensuring that they can do the job that they're hired to do. But by the same token, move them, use them to do the job they were hired to do. Of course, there's cross-training, and that's good to become, become familiar with what's going on in other departments, but you don't want it to become the standard. Listen, this is Dave Gear. This has been Leadership Minute number 23. Employ your unit in accordance with its capabilities. That's the leadership principle. Talk to you soon.